You got it. Oh, I guess it's alright. <laughs> we got a catfish, folks. You do the hard work, I'll just reel them. That sounds good. <laughs> She's taking a picture of us, and we're taking a picture of her. The current is so strong. It's a weird feeling. It feels like you're drifting. Let's do some fishing. Sounds good. I'm gonna let you start the fishing. I'm gonna start the drinking. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Gotta bait it back up. This is Bunce's Pass in the beautiful Fort DeSoto area, Florida. Fish are jumping over there. Yeah, is it coming straight for us? Alright, that looks pretty uh, rainy. Let's take a look at the old radar, see what we're up against. Things that you have to look out for on a boat. Yeah. Yeehaw! Alright, one to one. Ashley caught one, I caught one. Fish on! We got another one. Seaweed fish. <laughs> you think we're not starving? It feels good to be here on the water. Fish jumping here in Florida. Tampa Bay, Fort DeSoto. We did catch some fish today. Yeah, we're one and one. Mike has caught one fish and I have caught one fish. Who can catch the next fish? <laughs> Everybody's leaving, but we are gonna stay. <laughs> Once they leave, we're gonna take over their spot. That's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. Maybe there's more fish over there. Here we go, we're gonna move. Right, we have spotted a better spot. Ashley is practicing driving. Mike's gonna pull the anchor this time. I'm going to drive us over to our spot. So we're at low, low tide. Perfect time to move. Get as tight as you possibly can. After Ashley at the helm back there. Keep coming straight ahead. Two to two today. You got the catfish and a jack, right? We're gonna get rain tonight. It's a beautiful day though. Now she's saying we might get lucky. There is something in the water right here, folks. Oh, Ooh, that's a big gnat. A little stormy indeed. Look at that beautiful Skyway Bridge in the frame. The massive amount of seagulls here at Fort DeSoto they help to magnify the beauty of this particular sunset. And here you're gonna see one seagull flying the opposite way of all the rest of the seagulls. And I just couldn't help but think to myself, that's us. But when you look behind us, an electrical storm was lurking with wind and rain and lightning, of course. It's a lightning storm out there. But by golly, we survived. And now, a beautiful sunrise. Woohoo! We're here, we're doing it. We're here, where are we? Fort DeSoto. Fort DeSoto consists of five islands. It was rated America's best beach back in like 2009. By? By TripAdvisor. <laughs> TripAdvisor rated this the number one beach. America's number one beach. Wow. I guess there's like eight miles of just beautiful oceanfront walking that you can do. They have campgrounds here, they have restrooms and bathhouses all along the whole island system. They have boat ramps here. It's actually like the largest boat ramps I think I've ever seen. 800 feet of just ramps with 11 total ramps. Looking to put a boat in the water around here? That might be a good place for you. <laughs> Fort DeSoto. Fort DeSoto. We've seen dolphins. People are used to seeing sea turtles and other wildlife. Got a lot of bird action and quite a bit of people action too. Lots of people watching right here. <laughs> of course, with the Civil War, the Union actually set up the North, the Union, to stop the Confederates from being able to transport firearms or goods or try to put it in to the Confederate Army. A lot of history right here, and it all is still on the island, so if you're a history buff, go check it out. This is really beautiful. It is beautiful. But we're thinking of moving. 
before we do, I'm gonna jump in, swim with the sharks, and clean up a little bit. Take a bath. Ashley's gonna help me. It's a two-man job to get me clean. <laughs> After getting cleaned up, it was time to get our bare feet in the sand at Fort DeSoto and get a feel for the place. And walk. I'm going into the cleaner water and walking. It's finally set foot on. I think they call this sand dollar key. So there must be a lot of sand dollars right here. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I thought I saw a sand dollar. Look at all those little bait fish. Looks like I can reach down and scoop one up with my hand. <laughs> look at that. Whoa! <laughs> that must mean something else is in here trying to eat them. Gulf of Mexico. Look at those waves. Wow. Talk about white caps. Oh, that was a hole and stuff flew out of it. So. <laughs> Ashley is dedicated to fitness. When it's time for Ashley to get her workout on, she ain't playing. See, where well, you have me right there, the sand's too piled. It's difficult enough to do a workout, much less get filmed doing it. Whenever we get on an island, Ashley always brings her workout equipment, which is rubber bands. That allows her to get a good workout in. These bands, they can kick your butt if you let them. Trying to keep the muscles activated, mm -hmm. try to hit a lower body part with an upper body. Couldn't ask for a prettier place to work out, mm. that's for sure. Ooh, that beautiful. Mm. Got me breathing hard. <laughs> Any workout is better than no workout. Mm. All right, a little bit of squats, a little bit of shoulder press, a little bit of rows. Ooh, super set those two. Mind-muscle connection is key. To make it a little harder, you can always pause at the top there. Whew. Working up a sweat. <laughs> good workout always makes you feel better. That's a good little start. Feels good to get the body moving. A little sweaty, a little sandy. All the while, good. So far, the muff has held on. I want to go see the surf. It's pretty. There's a half of a sand dollar. A half a sand dollar. That's always a weird feeling when the water recedes and you can feel the sand disappearing from under your feet. Make you feel like you're drunk. <laughs> Hello, how are you today? Good. Good. Good thing you're a people person, an extrovert. <laughs> Did they have to tow somebody out of here? Oh, look, they got stuff. We got Towboat US pulling a boat out. Looks like they uh, stayed a little too long on the inside. Got stuck. He got them out of there pretty quick though. There's our good looking boat right there. She's hanging in there good. Ah! I can't believe it. We're here. But how gorgeous is this? You can tell the tide is going out right now. So we're getting a little bit more land here, but it almost looks like you could walk straight across to the other island over there. But I'm not sure how deep it is. Some boats can come in here, right there at that little cut and come in the backside here. I like this spot. This is something else. Can't keep us down. We're still going. <laughs> it's okay. Tippy toes. That current is raging. Stay on your tippy toes. There you go. You can just step up. It almost got me. The toenail was. <laughs> Just your toenail. So you feel like you got a good workout? Obviously, it's not as good as you can get in the gym, but I had quite a view, so that made it all worth it. All worthwhile. Now we can carry on with our day. Carry on.